for my construction entrepreneurs. This one's going to get a little hot in here. All right, so we're going to do a video on <clears throat> how to get work, how to land contracts, how to get work as a new contractor with no money, right? You got zero cash, right? Some of us out there, we already been contracting a while and we still have zero cash, right? Now, to get to that point, it's a job. With all of that, you still have to have that desire from within. All right, so let's talk about this. How do we get projects being a new contractor or a contractor that's just out there, things haven't been going right, and you're just broke, just don't have no money, okay? And these are some of the things that I did when I was a new contractor out there um, and, uh, and I was looking for work, okay? Um, first thing I want to say is you have to hit up family and friends. You have to hit up family okay. and friends, okay? That's the key. My very first project was with my neighbor, okay? No, my very first project was actually with my, uh, my ex-sister-in-law. I did her driveway, very small driveway, but I went all in on this bad boy. And I did it for free, of course, right? They paid for the materials. I did it for free. And then my neighbor saw it. At that time, her neighbor saw it. And um, one men do their project, and they knew they knew I was new at this. Okay, uh, don't try to front like you've been doing this forever. Okay, um, just be honest, be straightforward. Let people know, hey, you know, new at this, trying to do it. I'm al already have experience in the trade, and that's that's the biggest thing. It's not whether if you know how to uh, uh, finish the concrete or, or do the trade. It's whether you know how to charge correctly, right? Most times we know how to finish the work, but uh, it's just that other admin stuff that we're lacking on, okay? So hit up family and friends, okay? Remember that. All right, so an another tip here is I want to tell you this, is stop at current ongoing projects. You're driving around, uh, I don't care where you're going, to a store, you're going to a donut shop, right? You're going um, uh, uh, maybe to go look at another job or you're going over a friend house, aunt house, going to help someone move. You see projects, stop and go in and ask if they have work available. A lot of times, uh, depending on what type of house it is or where it's at, a lot of times the general contractor will have a billboard out there, right? A sign posted up with their information on it. Uh, no one's there on the, pro on the property, call the number and call it right then, okay? You never know who will answer. I don't care if it's a Saturday, Sunday, late Monday, call it. Call the number right there on the spot. Do not put it off. Call it. Call the number. But I say this. Don't opt to call a number if there's people on the job site. Show up, introduce yourself, okay? Let them know what you do, and let them know if they need help with that project or future current projects that may be in the pipeline that they have. And they may refer you over to someone, but make sure you get their name and the contact number of who they want you to call so when you talk to that person, you can drop down the new contact that you just met that referred that person over to you, okay? Name, name dropping is, is huge in this industry, as you know, okay? So stop at those projects, all right? Um, uh, next thing I'm gonna tell you to do, make a company resume, okay? I used to do this a long time ago. I had a company resume where it listed um, uh, the company name, uh, contact info, whoever they can contact, uh, uh, my bonding limits, my insurance limits, uh, uh, basically all my policy information. Uh, um, it lists my qualifications. It lists the type of projects I've done before. Um, it lists my website. 
uh, it lists a brief description of completed projects. And mind you, this was a one pager, okay? Nothing where people gotta flip through and all that. Uh, uh, kept it simple, but I, I just kept things on line items and uh, um, it was a company resume, right? A lot, of, a lot of people call it uh, call it a capabilities uh, um, uh, pro view, right? Uh, capability statement, right? Something that you have that display your company. And if you don't have enough information to go on there, right? Let's say you you may not you may don't have insurance. Your customers that you're going after may you may not need to have a certain type of insurance. Um, you may not have any projects, which you should, because remember, even the projects you were doing when you were working for someone else, you write that on the company resume, okay? Those projects you were involved in, and you talk about those projects, okay? So everybody always got projects, unless you're brand new to the industry, then you probably shouldn't be going out there trying to practice on someone else's property. You should be working for someone and then work your way up there, okay? But for you ones that, that already have the experience trait, create the company resume. If you don't have enough information on that company resume, then you can create a line card. A line card basically says who you are, right? What company, uh, your, your license numbers, um, and, and what you're qualified to do. Uh, on, on all your services. So it just basically tells someone all the services that you do that you offer, okay? And you can throw some pictures of some jobs on there and it's called a line card, more like a bigger postcard, longer type postcard, something that you can hand someone off. And uh, uh, since you don't have a whole lot of money, just print it out on regular paper, okay? And you can always use that and you can use it in these different examples I'm going to continue to give you throughout this. Uh, this video here okay next um, what you can do is is sign up for a subscription on a lead generating website and you're like Tyrone I just told you I don't have no money bro well um, you can sign up for the free subscription on these websites similar websites like big clerk look them up in your area uh, a lot of times they give you a uh, free access for three days, 24 hours, seven days, depending on which one they, they, they're, they're having. And we're talking about residential work. So you want to look up the ones that offer residential leads and, and, and make sure they have all the information uh, of that project available to you, okay? Because you don't want to be getting someone that's a third, 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 third party lead, okay? Um, and then you want to sign up for their free subscription. Set a, set a reminder on your phone to cancel before that free subscription is up because we don't have any money, right? So what I want you to do, as soon as you get that free prescription, uh, subscription, I want you to go on there and I want you to start writing down every GC that has listed a project on there. Old projects, new projects, upcoming projects, uh, projects in, uh, uh, in different phases. I don't care, I want you to write down different projects, different GCs that, that are uh, listing projects on there, write, them, write their name down, write their number down, write their email down, whatever information is being given there, and then you take all that information, and that's all you do, okay? You, you, you're already broke, so you don't have a whole lot going on already, okay? So sit down, take all that time that they give you for that free time slot, and go in on getting contact information. Okay, and that's the people that you can actually call and then offer to send your uh, line card or your company resume to for any work that they have. And you want to call every single one of them. And you may have to call them two and three times. Put reminders on your phone to remind you to call people, to remind you to follow up with people. Okay, do not forget this is the time where you need to build relationships. You need to call, you need to land work. You need to be working hard at it, okay? So look for the ones that have the free subscription, sign up and see what you can get from them. Get contact information. Get it, get it, get it and call them, okay? Um, another thing is that I used to do. So as you're driving on the freeway, driving on the street and you see trucks with names on there, you wanna write down those company names. Okay, a lot of times those are uh, general contractors or even subs that may be looking for work. Doesn't matter. All companies you write down, 
Remember, we're hungry, okay? So as you're just driving, you're just driving on the freeway, you see names on trucks all the time. This time, we're going to actually make use of those names and write them down. Uh, uh, you can do, listen, I'm not telling you, you know, you got to text and, and drive like me with no hands in the car while you're doing a video. No, voice it into your phone, okay? Hey, um, uh, T.A. Jones Concrete, number is 682-443-3969, okay? Voice it into your phone. Log it in, okay? And have a place where that goes. Don't just put it all over the place. Have a place where it goes. Log it in and call that contractor. Now, let's say if it's a contractor that's a sub. Then you ask them, do they know of any work that they're currently on or that's coming up in the pipeline or any general contractors that may have work, okay? Sometimes contractors are able to help all the other contractors. Give them a call. I don't care if they're a sub. Call them. You have nothing to lose anyway. We, we got no money here, okay? So, um, uh, uh, and then what you want to do is you want to get the, a lot of times you just see names of companies. So you want to go back wherever you get to your office, your house, your bungalow, your tent, uh, your, your car. I, I don't know. You look them up online. Okay. Get a, a little information about them before you call them. Okay. Know what they do. If you can find some information on them, that way, when you're talking to them, you can share some information that you see from their website with them okay kind of be a little relatable in regards to what they're doing okay that always works okay tell them about the good projects that you've seen that they, they have done okay the houses look awesome looks like they work in your area uh, uh that house is close where you used to have a job something like that okay but spark that create create some spark there okay uh next thing i want you to do is um uh, also, too, when you're talking to them, let them know you have that line card and that company resume. And you want to send that over to them, okay? That means that they're going to give you that uh, that email address, okay? Make sure you keep that email address. Everyone should have some type of CRM where they keep contacts, okay? Uh, especially potential customers. Uh, make sure you store that, okay? Uh, next, what I want you to do with here is those uh, that, that company resume and those line cards. I want you to go to Home Depot, Lowe's, or any large box supplier store for contractors in your area and introduce yourself to contractors that are there. Walk in the store. I don't care. They walk out of the store. Do not, do not set stuff on their windshield, okay? Do not. Introduce yourself. Come up with your, 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 um, your uh, your elevator pitch or your 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 two or three liner and and basically here let me let me come off with you hey 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 sir hey hey I see that you're busy hey I won't take you long let's walk while you uh, let's walk and talk while while you got your stuff here hey I just want to let you know hey man I'm a, a concrete contractor I'm looking for some work I got some availability my guys I'm trying to keep them busy. I got them here, and I, I just want to put them on the next project. So I know that you're an electrician, but do you have any concrete work maybe on your project or any upcoming work that you may know of that I can kind of pursue? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, I don't, you know, I stay away from that uh, concrete stuff. I only mess with electrical stuff. Well, hey, do you know any GCs I can give a call to? that may be looking for a, uh, a quality contractor, man, I turn in some fast bids, man. I turn my numbers around quick. Oh, okay. Hey, you know what? Give me a car and, uh, and I'll make sure um, that I follow up with you. I think I may know a guy that may, that may he's bidding on a, quite a bit of projects and he may, may need you. Okay. And that's just a start there. Okay. Uh, but go there and don't give me this stuff about this pride. Okay. Listen, give you the story here. You, you guys know I always got to give a story, right? So let me give you the story here. So, uh, 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 and this is a story that's going to relate to this about letting go of this pride and, 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 and going all in and at, at the level that you're at so you can get to that next level, okay? Uh, so a lot of you guys out there, a lot of you girls out there too that are contractors, like, ah, I'm not going to walk around Home Depot and do that. I'm too big for that. Well, I'll tell you this. There was one time I used to go, uh, I was playing golf. I used to go to a lot of golfing events, uh, especially when I was doing work for SoCal Gas and SCGME. He used to invite me to all these golfing, fancy golfing events, right? 
where you got to wear um, your slacks, you know, and, 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 and your golf shoes and things like that. And uh, I wasn't good at golf, but I'll go and play because I enjoyed the time and I always wanted to learn how to play. Well, here it is. I'm, I'm out there and I'm like, I'm hitting stuff and I'm hitting it like it's a baseball, right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to tear it up white off the ball right and um and as you know with those stains is just a small little tweak right you can literally have your club just tweaked a little bit and then shoot that bad boy off right i said ford so many times at the ford watch watch out man watch out and uh and um toward the end of the day i started to get a little frustrated i was like man i, I slammed down my club i was just just upset, man. I was just mad. And a, a, a buddy of mine, another contractor that knew me, came up to me and was like, hey, Tyrone, man, what, what are you tripping off of? I was like, dude, I can't this balls, man. And and I, 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 I'm trying to set up and get the form right. And he was like, dude, you're not, you're not that good to be this man. I told that dude, if you don't get up out of my face, dude, but no, nah, it was true though, right? Uh, 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 I wasn't that good to be that mad. So <laughs> what, what, am I, what am I tripping off of? So back to the uh, Home Depot store, okay? You're not doing that great to be that prideful, man. And you shouldn't be that prideful anyway. Go out there and go get to work, man. You, ain't, you, you don't have anything going on. We don't have no money. We're trying to make this thing work. It's only temporary. It's only temporary till we can make something work, some catch, some gives, some, and then we just go all in on it. And that's what you have to do. If any one of these things work, you need to go all in on it. It's no wait. It's no hesitate. If you get a response, you you, you follow up. If you get a call, you answer. If you if they request something, you send it. That's it. You know, there's no more. If someone says, "Hey, you know what, man? Hey." I met you at a uh, Home Depot and uh, wish yourself a meeting to come to my office. Your next reply is, hey, I'm available Tuesday at 10 a.m. between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. That's your next response. Not, hey, man, thanks. Okay, let me know when. No. Hey, I'm available Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 12, 12 p.m. I'm also available on uh, Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., okay? That's what you give them so they can respond back and select a slot instead of trying to say, hey, you know what? Let me check my calendar over here, and then I give him a day. And no, jump on this stuff now, okay? Um, and that's it. That's all the tips I have there. Hopefully that helps you out. That's something that I was doing uh, back when I started out. Um, uh, and also know this, if you don't have a license and you're thinking about getting your license, a 10 hour school, okay? And we're gonna help you land work. You won't have to be out here trying to reinvent the wheel, okay? Our contractor course, if you select it, also comes with a business course. So not only will we help you land your uh, first couple of projects, we're gonna also teach you how to make money, what to charge, what are your rates, how to account for your insurance, right? So that way you're not, you're not losing fresh out the gate. If you talk to every contractor, they will tell you they lost fresh out the gate. There's very small percentage that didn't. So we're here so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And that way you could win as soon as you kick off. As soon as you take off, you're winning. Okay? So check us out. Hey, I hope you learned something from this. If you did and you've used any one of these uh, hacks before, leave me a comment. Let me know how it went. Or if you want to add to it, maybe you got an idea to add to it that, that will help someone out there that don't have no money, uh, that's looking to land a project, and how can they go about doing it, okay? Where can they look? Where can they go to, okay? Um, and that would be much appreciated. Much appreciated. So I'm going to let you go with that, my construction entrepreneurs. Remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. See you on the next one.